Hello everyone and welcome to our universe. Today we'll be talking about gravitational waves. So if you may or may not know, scientists have pretty much discovered that gravitational waves exist in our universe. So this is a video exploring all about gravitational waves. We'll talk about what exactly is a gravitational wave, how they were detected, and what can we learn from gravitational waves. So let's jump right in and talk about gravitational waves. So a century after Albert Einstein rewrote the understanding of space and time, physicists have now confirmed one of the most elusive predictions of the general theory of relativity. In another galaxy, a billion light years away, two black holes collided, shaking the fabric of space-time. And here on Earth, two giant detectors on opposite sides of the United States have detected these mysterious gravitational waves. After decades of trying directly to detect these waves, the recently upgraded LIGO appears to have succeeded, ushering a new era in astronomy. So what exactly is a gravitational wave? Well, they come from colossal cosmic collisions and stellar explosions that rattle the fabric of space-time itself. General relativity predicts that ripples in the fabric of space-time radiate energy away from these certain events. These ripples are very subtle. By the time they reach Earth, some can compress space-time by as little as one ten thousandth of the width of a proton. So, how were they exactly detected? Well, to spot the signal, LIGO uses a special mirror to split a beam of laser light and then sends these beams down a four kilometer long arm, which there are two of them. After ricocheting back and forth nearly 400 times, this turns each beam's journey into a 1,600 kilometer round trip. The light then recombines near its source. The experiment is designed so that in normal conditions, light waves can cancel each other out when they recombine, and therefore sending no light signal to a nearby detector. But a gravitational wave stretches the tube. This alters the distance between the two beams, relative to each other. Because of this difference in distance, the recombining waves are no longer perfectly aligned, and therefore can't cancel each other out. The detector then picked up a faint glow, and this signals a passing wave. So what are the sources of these gravitational waves? Well, by studying computer simulations of astrophysical phenomena, scientists can figure out what type of signals to expect from various gravitational wave sources. One example is spinning neutron stars. A neutron star is a core left behind by a massive star exploding. A single spinning neutron star can whip up space-time at frequencies similar to those produced by colliding black holes. Another example is supernovas. These are explosions triggered when a massive star dies. These can shake up the fabric of space-time and blast out into the cosmos with bursts of high-frequency gravitational waves. The Big Bang is also a great example. The Big Bang might have been triggered by a universe-sized gravitational wave 13.8 billion years ago. These waves were left as an imprint of the first light released into the cosmos 380,000 years later. And this is basically what we see in the cosmic microwave background. And probably the most obvious one, the supermassive black hole pairs. Pairs of gigantuan black holes, more than a million times as massive as the Sun, could be detected by LIGO and radiate very long and give off gravitational waves. So probably the most important and most frequent question asked about this is what can we learn from gravitational waves? What are the possibilities? Well, LIGO's success is basically akin to Galileo turning his telescope towards the sky. Before that moment, we knew hardly anything about the stars and planets. We didn't realize that there were other galaxies and had no concept 
of the immense size and complexity of the universe. Gravitational waves is a new way of seeing the cosmos, a new way of understanding the physics and what's capable in our universe. Gravitational waves could eventually go on to new types of technology, understanding how black holes really work, and also going into things like space travel, traveling to different galaxies or stars, even going down Star Trek's level and getting some kind of warp drive. But one of the most important things about this is it's confirmed Einstein's theory of general relativity. Einstein predicted this mathematically over a hundred years ago, and it just means that we are able to take the mathematics out of something so genius and turning it into fact. This is just another thing and a great highlight for astronomy and physics. And for the analogy of Galileo's telescope, much of what gravitational waves can teach us is probably yet to be imagined. So I hope that's given you a great insight into gravitational waves. And also I'll put a couple of links in the description if you want to know a little bit more about these mysterious yet not so mysterious gravitational waves. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.